Hello wine lovers, I recently tasted a fair amount of Saint-Emilion 2020 in bottle. I'm trying to summarize this tasting and it's very difficult because Saint-Emilion is such a vast region. Uh, my heart is very close to this region because I do consider it being the epicenter of modern winemaking in France. What happened in the 90s and the 2000s and I've been traveling through this region and following it very closely since. I have to say that uh, 2020 probably epitomizes what can be done in the wine world today. The trilogy of 18, 19, 20, all brilliant vintages, but I, I seem to have a soft spot even when I tasted 20 on Primeur. The wines were so bright, despite a very hot year, uh, the vine is a capable of adapting. We do have great levels of freshness, and particularly the Saint-Emilion's from the, from the limestone plateau. Um, the limestone certainly imparts that uh, that notion of, of freshness. And regardless, if we speak about more full throttle, modern, rich and concentrated style, or the more traditional styles, there's there's a great coherence in terms of uh, of wine quality. So I do believe, and apart from saint emilion we speak about the Plateau and the Cru Classé, which of course are the wines having the reputation, but we should not forget the satellite appellations of uh, Lussac, Montagne, and Pusugain, saint emilion um, Over my last 10 years, I've seen more and more ambitious examples coming from here, many of them from proprietors in saint emilion or other parts of, of Bordeaux, seeing uh, a bit of the forgotten potential here, perhaps. We do have very close, I mean, we're very close in terms of soils and, and climate, and uh, particularly the examples, again, coming from, from the limestone. They do display similar characteristics um, to the ones from, from saint emilion and first of all, I have to say they, they have a wonderful quality, uh, some of these best examples. Uh, but apart from that, they also have wonderful quality price ratio because very few wines from here, they, they don't cost a lot of money. So I think that these are the, the wines we have to display to the world, to consumers around the world, being thirsty for Bordeaux, that uh, there's still great quality price ratio coming from Bordeaux. And uh, if we disregard the price, uh, only the quality itself, but wines being uh, very dynamic, uh, all size, even if we're more, more in a traditional style towards the modern, uh, richer, fruitier, I think. Regardless of style, there's always great Saint-Emilion for wine lovers around the world. Cheers.